This video is going to be on the AccuMeasure body fat caliper. There are millions of videos online on how to use this thing by lots of professionals that seem to know what they're doing. But I'm going to show you my experience with this. When you buy it, it costs about $6 and it is really just a caliper that measures millimeters. And I'm going to show you how this thing works now. We have a little slide thing over here. And I'm going to show that to you right now. There it is. That's the slide. And the slide needs to be on the right side. And then what you do is you use this little area and you stick the fat part of your body. That sounds disgusting, but you put the fat part of your body, the big fat fold in here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put, depending on which hand you're using, you're going to have maybe a thumb over here and you're going to have your finger over here where it says press. And you're going to have your little schmaltz. That's a Yiddish word, schmaltz, fat. You're going to have your schmaltz over there in those uh, calipers and you're going to squeeze and watch this thing. It moves as you squeeze it. And so say that your fat stops over there. You, uh, it won't let you go anymore. Now you look at the reading over here. And that shows the millimeters of thickness of the fat or the schmaltz that you have. And then you can go over here to this beautiful chart. You can see they listed for males and females. And you can look it up by your age and the thickness of the caliper, how much fat it's uh, measuring. And you can get an idea of your body fat. Now, some warnings on this thing, if you're very slender, you're not going to have much skin and you're probably not going to get uh, a really accurate reading. Even if you do get an accurate reading, you are probably not going to get an accurate reading because these things, like everything that measures, are not 100%. So it might be close, it might be 1% less, it might be 1% more, it's really hard to say. But at least you'll get a good uh, range, something that you'll be able to use to uh, help you figure out where you're at. If you're really fat, using something like this is uh, probably not going to help you that much because the fatter, the more fat folds you have, the harder it is to really get an accurate reading. So when, you, uh, when you're using these things, if you are excessively fat, this is really not the way to go. It will give you an idea, it will, and that's the whole point of something like this. It will give you a starting point, but you might not get a really accurate reading of where you're at. In that case, you might have to use a tape measure or pay somebody who has the equipment to get you a better reading. So I'm not going to ramble too much longer. This is called a single measurement or a single reading type uh, thing. You can go in here and get one reading, take one reading, and you should be able to get a fairly good ballpark. And what you should do with this unit is you should test it, maybe you should take your reading maybe three times, three or four times, just to make sure that you're getting an average reading or an accurate reading and learn how to do it. Try to take it at the same time every day. Try not to do the measurement if you just worked out because you're going to have a lot of sweat on your body. Or if you have lotions or grease, then that's something that might change your reading. If you ate at a restaurant and you have a lot of salt intake from uh, eating a big meal, you might have some salt intake that is going to bloat you out. You might get a little different reading. Uh, if you're a woman and you're uh, having that thing that nobody wants to talk about, then you might get a different reading. And if you're holding water weight gain or some other thing, then you could get a different reading. You probably will get a different reading. So this is just to give you some general idea. It's not 100% accurate, but it is pretty awesome. And for the price, it's really, really, really cool. Now, I'm going to show you how to take the measurements. Again, this is a one measurement type thing, but you can do four measurements. It's easier to do the four measurements if you've got somebody doing it because it's hard to take one of those measurements, and I'll show you. If you're going to do the one measurement, all you need then is this chart, and you can come up with your estimate of where you're at. If you were going to do the four reading, then there's a website called linear, L-I-N-E-A-R dash software dot com, and you can plug in the four numbers and put in your age and your weight, 
and it will give you some idea. Now with me, I will say that I've got a scale. I have one of those uh, weight scales that shows body fat, and it says that I'm about 22% body fat. I went and I did the one reading, and it said that I was about 15% body fat. I went and did the four measurement reading, and it said I was 11 and a quarter. So it's really hard to say where, wh which one is accurate, which one is the closest. Um, I don't think I'm 11%, 11 and a quarter. I don't even think I'm 15%. I definitely don't believe that I'm 22%. So who knows? Time to put this on a, on a tripod and show you how to do these measurements. First thing I want to say is please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. I'm a YouTube partner and this helps me out a lot with my life. So if you want to link this to a website, that would help me out. I would appreciate it. Leave your comments if you want to. Please, no pervert tedios looking at my awesome body and leaving comments about my massive masculinity. So, if you're doing one reading only, you want to go, it's called the superiliac, I think, S-U-P-R-A-I-L-I-A-C, superiliac. It's about an inch, they say, from the hip bone, and I know we're guys. Guys don't know where the heck our hip bone is. Is this the hip? Is this the waist? Who knows? But... You want to go about a, an inch up or something, and you want to go on a diagonal. So this is the diagonal. And this is where us guys are packing the fat. We're not really packing it around the arms. There's not, if you're working out, you're not going to be packing it over there. You're going to be packing it here. This is what I'm working on. This is my little, this is my area that I'm trying to get rid of now. That's, if you're looking at this, which you are because you're listening, if you're looking at this, this is probably 2 or 3% body fat something like that. That's, it's not a lot, but um, compared to where I was before, I've lost uh, about 19 pounds, so I'm almost there. This is uh, the hardest part to get rid of. This is, you're not going to get rid of this stuff by working out as much as you're going to get rid of it by diet. Carbs, you, gotta, you don't want to cut out your carbs, as I said in a lot of my videos. Carbs are really important. They keep your brain going. They, if you don't, if you cut back on your carbs all the way, you, your body, your, uh, what is it? Your body's going to shoot out the carbs anyway, and it's probably going to overload you with carbs, and that's how you become diabetic. Your body needs so many carbs to survive, no matter what anybody says. Your body needs so many carbs. If you don't give it the carbs, your body will produce those carbs and overload you as it gives them to you, and that ends up causing insulin resistance, and it shuts down your body, and it just screws you up big time. So don't cut out carbs. You need so many carbs per day. You need three servings of carbs and a serving is about 15 grams. So the average person needs about 45 grams of carbs per meal, not per day. You need about 45 grams of carbs. So look on the labels, check how many servings are in your food. Uh, make sure that you're going with uh, 45 grams. You can go a little bit more, but then you're starting to dealing with uh, maybe not being able to drop weight. If you're working out and you're exercising a lot, you want to be down around the two to three, maybe three. You don't want to go too low because, as I said, your body is going to give you the carbs that it needs. If you start doing four, which a lot of people do, you go to Costco, you go to the store, you end up with a slice of pizza and a thing of soda, you've maxed out past your maximum carbs for, you, for the meal, and now your body has to burn all that stuff, and it doesn't know what to do. It's popping out more insulin to shut down the excess amount of sugar that you've got in there. You become pre-diabetic, and you screw your whole self up. Okay, so back to this. This is what you want to get rid of. That's what I want to get rid of. It's this little area here that mostly, as they say, abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. But when you go in the gym and you start doing some cardio, all of a sudden this starts shrinking down, and this shrinks down. Back to this, the suprailiac, sup, whatever the heck that is. Who cares, right? Okay, so you want to grab this on a diagonal. This is kind of over. And you don't want to, don't, don't be a wuss. Don't say, okay, there's nothing here. No, there's something there. Go in there and grab. Grab that meat because you want, you don't want to trick yourself. You want to be honest. So you go in. This is why this is an easy thing to do if you're just going to do the one reading. Make sure this thing is all the way to the right. Finger over here, thumb over here. Go here on a diagonal. Why isn't that working? And then go in there and... Come on, man, what's going on? Oh, okay, I was blocking my finger over there. You don't want to... 
go over there, do a little squeeze until it stops. It's going to stop. It's going to click. There it is. That's the click. And then you got your little reading over there. You see where that line is? The millimeters shows, what does it show on this thing? It shows eight. Before I did it, it was as a six. So you're going to get different readings depending on how much you grab, where you grab, what time of day you grab, how you grab it. But you don't want to do a wussy grab. Go in there and really be honest with yourself. So after you get that, you go look it up on the chart, you measure your age, you look at your age, and uh, you find out what your body fat is. Again, it's not 100% accurate, but if you're going to go to that website, that linear-linear-software.com, linear or other websites that are body fat calculators, you're going to be doing this one, the Super Iliac, whatever that thing is. Just do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, and link this video. Help me out, please. Okay, so that's going to be your first reading. Second reading is going to be at the abdomen. Make sure you reset this thing. Maybe an inch away from the belly button. Go in there and grab. Keep that thumb over, the finger in the little indent over there. Thumb on the little indent. Go in there and squeeze until it clicks. That reading is maybe like two more than what it was before when I did it. It just you know, again, it, you've got to do this a few times to figure out how to grab, how much to grab, and how deep. Um, but you don't want the muscle in there. You really just want the fat. So that is the this one, and then you want to go this one. What was the other one? I'm trying to think of what the other one was. Hold on. This one I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to do this one on the video because I can't. You don't want your muscle flexed. You want the arm straight out, but you want to go right behind the tricep. On women, this is especially older women, but women that are overweight and just, women wear their fat in their butt and their thighs. You can see a woman, go down to the beach, go to the, the pool, you'll see a, woman, a lot of women who look absolutely incredible. They have abs and everything looks really good. And then you look down and you see the cottage cheese and you see the fat in their thighs and their butt. That's because women, the fat goes there. So women who think that they're getting away with eating lots of candies and cookies and junk because they have a hot looking body. No, it all goes down here. And once it goes there, good luck trying to get rid of that. That stuff is going to be there forever. So uh, you really do need to eat cleanly. But this is the one that you want to work on. You want to do this. You don't want to have it flexed so that you've got nothing to grab. You really want to be honest. Go in there, have somebody do this. I did it. I went in here and I, I did my little squeeze thing. And I got a, a, a halfway decent number, but I'm not 100% sure. Final reading. Final reading is going to be, I know I had to put on shorts because of all the disgusting comments I would get if I didn't. So, final reading is going to be right over here. Right in the, in the uh, midpoint between your crotchal area and your knee. So right in the middle of your upper leg. And you can't do it this way because the muscle is going to be flexed and you're not going to get an accurate reading. You want to be standing straight and relaxed and you're going to go squeeze over here and you can see the difference now you can see there's not a lot of stuff here and there's not a lot on uh, behind the arm because I'm working out and I'm burning all this fat and the remaining fat is in the belly so you're going to go over and you're going to take this unit and you're going to squeeze it over here you're going to go over here you're going to take this sucker little click and then we're back to a reading at about four or six or something like that so if you're going to do the four measurement reading, then you'll be using a, an online web calculator for body fat, and you have options. They've got an option to put in these four uh, measurements that I showed you, or to go behind your neck and your shoulders, and seven readings or eight readings. And if you just want to do the simple one reading, go in here to the Supra Iliac, grab that thing, and word is that this is more accurate by going in with the one reading than by gathering the four readings which you could really have lots of variables and that's going to be it i hope this helped you uh, make sure that you check out my other videos look at i've got a couple videos that are listed under my blackberry preve and while i'm doing the updates i also talk about some uh, health things like diabetes pre-diabetes eating properly eating healthy and 
Uh, if you don't want to do that, again, feel free to link this if you want somebody to know how to use this thing. This is an honest review. I'm not a professional. I'm not a buff weight lifter, as you can tell. I'm just somebody like you trying to get in shape and trying to figure out what the heck's going on in this world with our bodies. Good luck.